everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. I am so excited to show you these two pasta recipes. These are staple recipes in my house and everybody loves them. These recipes I make at least twice a month and they are family favorites so I hope that you make them and enjoy them like us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time that I upload a video. I am currently uploading a video every single day from Sunday through Thursday, so lots of motivation coming your way. For this pasta, you are going to need one package of fettuccine, the zest of one lemon, a package of grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes, a package of basil, a couple cloves of garlic, and white button mushrooms. I will put all the quantities in the description box below so you have all the exact measurements. But the first thing you want to do is to cut and chop everything up so you have it ready. So just cut all of your tomatoes in half and I usually quarter my mushrooms but you can cut them even smaller if you want to. Leave the stems on and everything, you don't even have to pull those off. At this point you're going to put the mushrooms, the tomatoes, and the garlic into a saute pan and put it on low, saute it for about a half an hour. At this point what you're really trying to do is steam the mushrooms. So I will put a lid on and let them steam for about half an hour until they get kind of soupy, I guess you could say. While that is steaming, you want to cut up your basil, zest your lemon, and then squeeze about a quarter cup of lemon juice into some kind of cup that you will add to the pasta later on. You will also need to start your boiling water so you can actually boil your fettuccine noodles to the package directions and make them exactly how they say. Mine are super easy and they take about 10 minutes and I just make them, strain them, and then we will put this pasta dish together. So after everything is cooked and sauteed you're actually going to just dump juice and all into the cooked pasta does not that look amazing you guys oh my goodness and then you will take everything else and just add it to the pasta so the lemon juice the lemon zest and the basil let me tell you this pasta is amazing it has a wonderful lemon flavor too it would be at this point that you would add cooked grilled chicken if you wanted that in your pasta as well. And I actually use the chicken recipe that I will share with you on my next pasta recipe if I make chicken for this pasta. On this particular night, um, I just made it a meatless night and we just ate it like this, which I often do and it is so good. There is one final thing that you need to add to make this amazing. Yep fresh red pepper. Just put a couple sprinkles in and you will be good. About a quarter of a teaspoon and then taste it. Even my kid doesn't even know that it's in here, but it really, really helps and makes the pasta so much better. If you're really, really sensitive to spice, just taste it and you will be good. But oh my goodness, let me tell you, it really, really makes the pasta when you add that red pepper because often I will forget doesn't this look amazing and what an easy weeknight dish. This next pasta recipe I actually got from Mandy in the making and it is amazing. Use chicken tenders like the recipe says. Breasts are okay but let me tell you chicken tenders work really a lot better and I just put on the screen what I sprinkled everything with. It was garlic, salt and pepper and paprika sounds so simple but oh my gosh y'all it is so good I actually left mine a little bit longer than I should have but just cook them a couple of minutes on each side until they are kind of charred and they are amazing for this recipe I go ahead and cut them up as much as you would like and while I'm doing all of this I make my noodles per the package direction so for the sauce, it is super easy and delicious. Go by the quantities in the description box below, but oh my gosh, it's wonderful. So I melt one stick of butter, and for this, I'm actually using broccoli that is steamable, so I just put that in the microwave as I'm making the sauce. You want to cut up two to three basil leaves, and oh my gosh, you guys, that is the game changer for this. It tastes so good. 
And then when the butter is all melted, you're going to pour in two cups of heavy whipping cream. Yeah, I know that's fattening, but oh my gosh, it is so good. At this point, you're going to put your garlic in, and I used already minced garlic, and it worked just fine. And then you're going to put salt and pepper and your basil leaf in as well, and just let it simmer for a few minutes until it is all heated through. If you do use fresh garlic, I would let it cook for just a little bit longer so that garlic actually cooks, but mine was a pretty fast turnaround, no problem. This is the key. You add five ounces of Parmesan cheese at the end, and Mandy actually shredded hers up, but I did not do that in my video. I just used shredded already and let that melt into the sauce, and it made it so amazing. So at this point, when everything is melted and wonderful, I put it over my strained noodles and just kind of mix it together, and then I decided to plate it up and make it pretty on this particular night. So I usually just put it in like a casserole dish so it's easier to have leftovers, and I put the chicken on one side, the broccoli on the other, and it was so good, you guys. This is the best fettuccine recipe that I have found yet. And that is saying a lot because I have tried so many. So if you try any of these recipes, please let me know and tag me on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.